Welcome, guys. So today we try to prove this uh Pepsi test. So f of n to be the two 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 and plus one be the earnings for man number. Okay. So uh yeah. So for example, like uh, f of two, f of one is just two 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 plus one, which is five. F of three is two to the two to the uh four plus one, which is seventeen, and now f of three is two to the uh, 8 plus 1, so 257. So this is prime, prime, prime. And I remember that the uh, f of 4 is prime, but f of 5 is not prime. Okay, so it says that f of n is prime if and only if uh, this is correct. Okay, so proof. Okay, so uh, so we prove first directions, right? So if f of n is prime, that means uh, we have a firm and little theorem, so 3 to the f of n minus 1, 1 is 1 mod f of n. Right, so this tells you that the 3 to the f of n minus 1 divided by 2, f of n minus 1 divided by 2 is an even number, right? So we can take a square root, so this is only two choice, right? Either plus or minus, e either plus 1 or uh, uh, minus 1, right? Okay, so that uh, we know that f of n is prime, right? So that means if we take a z to f of n to be just the abelian group generated uh, with the order f of n, then any number co-prime to f of n will be the generator. So 3 is a generator uh, of f of n, of uh, z f of n, right? So the order uh, of 3 is just... Uh, Oh, sorry. So, 3 is a generator of, of z f of n. Alright, so that means any, so, so since it's, it's, since it's 3, right? So, that means 3 will generate all the, all the z f of n group. So, the, so if 3 up, if 3 already, if 3 to the f of n minus 1 divided by 2 is already 1, then 3 can only generate the half of f of n. Since f of, if 3 to the power f of n minus 1 divided by 2 is 1, then 3 can only generate half of the z f of n, which is the contradiction. So the only possibility is that the 3 to the f of n minus 1 divided by 2 is indeed minus 1 modulo f of n, no, which is uh, the, the proof. Okay, so we now the proof the next directions. So let me just clean the, clean the board. Oh, I think this is enough. Okay, so let me just prove the uh, prove the next directions. So next direction is also simple, right? Suppose thing three to f of n minus one divided by two is mod minus one mod f of n. Then uh, what? Then what? Then the then the Okay, so that means what? That means, uh, uh, let me see. So the order of three, uh, do not divide, right? So p three to so f of a minus one divided by two is still minus one. So that means the, the three, the order of three, uh, in maybe in z f of n. Do not divide f of n minus one divided by two, right? So the reason is that if the order of three of n divide uh is the factor of this f of n divided by two, then uh, if you go to f of n divided by two, then it will be min it will be one, right? So, but this one say that the order of three, so it concludes that the order of three must divide by the f of n minus one. And the reason is that the f of n minus one divided by two is on is just two to the two n. Right, so the next factor, so if this is not a case, then this must uh, must be the case. Okay, since this is uh, f of n, right, so the maximum can only be f of n minus 1. So that means what? That means the order of 3 do not divide f of n divided by 2, but divides f of n minus 1. So the order 
of three will just the will just the same as f of n minus one, right? So if I take three and generate it, then I get the f of n minus one, right? So that means three will generate exact z f of n. So there are there are uh, f n minus one number, uh, which is uh, which are coprime to f of n. So that means uh, any number generated from it will coprime to f of n, right? So that means every number less than the f of n will coprime to f of n. So f of n is prime. Okay, that's it. And I will see you guys in another interesting math video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.